Levon Peer heavily backed, ready to run now. Speed drawn wide out. Waiting for the all clear from behind. There it is now. Racing. There's a great line out. Levon Peer began sharply. Macarena nicely into stride. And now Coover showing plenty of muster. Followed then by Raff Attack, who's slowly rolling forward the outside. Soul Coach the fence, Kintai between them. Further back to He Man and the White Cap from Noisy Boy, two off to Zardozzi Ravello. And Tan House is going to settle last of all. Levon Pierce trying to get down to the fence. Our Cuba's proving to be a bit of a pest on the inside. It did enough there to force Hippo's hand on Levon Pierce. He had to work and he accelerates to the lead. And Raff Attack, the stable mate, goes to second. Our Cuba will take the sit now. Macarena sat that dance out and takes a good trailing position. Fourth at the 800 metres, two lengths to Salt Coats, two off then to Kintai. On the outside of He-Man, further back to Zardozzi, Noisy Boy, Tannhauser, and Ravello's the last one. Levon Pier, a narrow leader from Raff Attack. The now Coover, Macarena, two lengths to Soul Coats from He-Man. Uh, Kintai still back in the field on the outside or behind Zardozzi they turn. Levon Pier's been heavily back to win the Ajax Stakes and it kicks. Gets two lengths clear. Uh, Raff Attack dropped off. Macarena's giving chase now. Zardozzi goes back on the inside. Levon Pier's all out. Out now, moving up on the outside, Macarena, Zardozzi, and Kintai with the last shot of them as Zardozzi takes the lead. Zardozzi beat off Macarena and Kintai, and Zardozzi draws clear with the far lap stakes. Zardozzi two lengths, Macarena second, a headaway third, Kintai. Maybe Levon Pierre hanging on for four from Tan Hauser, He Man, and then came Noisy Boy further back to our Coover, followed by Salt Coats, Ravello, and Raff Attack Week, and right out to finish last. What a great training performance by James Cummings. A little, little underwhelming first up. Won the Oaks in the spring after winning the Edward Manifold and running well in the Wakeful. Now stakes her claim to be a serious contender to do an Oaks double. She's got orchestral probably standing in her way. He rode well, didn't he, Aussie Tom? He did. He got the very best out of her. But I think it has to go down to this training performance from James Cummings and obviously the horse as well. The amount of improvement that she took from that first up run into this second up performance. When you look through this on the roll like we did prior to the race, you can see the quality that has won this race and what they're able to continue to do throughout their career. And she's no different. You mentioned walking around the yard. This is the only Group 1 winner in this field. And it's so good to see her back. I thought Macarena ran really well. Kintar's knocking on the door uh, for a good performance for a race for him. But it was really a one-act affair as far as class was concerned. So, Richo, Phillies 1-2 yet again. And that form's got to hold up with Kintar in third place. But she was outstanding today. She was absolutely superb. So where does she go, Bruce? It's interesting. Does orchestral scare her away from an Oaks? Would suddenly a Derby be easier than an Oaks for a filly like her? Who are the best Colts going around?